Hey guys and welcome to a new video here on Flowshop. My name is Joseph. In today's video, we're going to be looking at blemish removal. I find blemish removal to be a very important step inside of retouching and it serves as a very easy way of creating a very clean base for me to start off my frequency separation or dodge and burn. If it's done very well, sometimes I don't even do frequency separation at all. I just go straight inside of dodge and burn. And today I'm going to show you how I do it. So if it's something that you're interested in, I think you stay to the end of the video. Um, if you work in a different way, um, do let me know in the comments down below. I'd, I'd love to pick up um, some methods from you guys as well. So tool that I use the most is the healing brush tool. And there are other options like the spots and the patch tool. They work differently, but it's just based around the same concept but I love the healing brush tool and so this video is going to be dedicated to that. So what happens is I'd always create a new layer above my background layer just so if I make any mistake I can delete that particular layer and start over again instead of closing the app and starting again is a tedious process as compared to just deleting a layer. So always create a new blank layer and name it healing and then you can start your editing process. One thing is to make sure your brush size is just about the size of the blemish that you want to get rid of. If it's too big, you might be sampling too much and that might affect the blemish that you're getting rid of. It's gonna leave um, artifacts and other skin textures and colors that you may not want. Again, make sure that your sample is set to current and below and not current layer because if you set to current layer, that layer is blank and there's going to be nothing for you to sample from. But if you're sampling from all layers, for example, then it means the brush is going to be taking details from any information on any layer that it finds. And so you always leave it at current and below. So the next thing is to now sample the good skin and paint over the blemish and always make sure that the, the good skin that you are sampling very very close to the blemish area just so you don't leave any trace and make it obvious for example if you went sample from the nose the kind of texture over there is different from the forehead and so if you replace it it's gonna be obvious that you sampled something and cloned something or healed something and as a good retoucher you don't want to leave a trace of the work that you've done so just going over the image looking for blemishes that immediately stand out to me and I'm just hitting alt on my keyboard and painting over the blemish. Now we're going to get to an area on her eyebrow for example where there's a color difference and texture difference so there's brown and black and there are straight lines and crisscrossing textures on the skin but when I paint and leave for example when I sample the skin and paint and leave it's gonna smudge and we don't want that so how do we tackle that? The only way to do it is to sample right in the middle so just about the point where the skin meets the eyebrow you sample around that area move your brush to the blemish area and paint over that now when you lift your brush you're going to notice that photoshop is going to do a decent job and get rid of that easily so i'm just going to go ahead and alt sample clean skin and paint over the blemish and i wouldn't really want to bore you um, with that process but basically that's what i'm going to do for the most part of this video. So currently all I'm doing is just hitting alt, sampling good skin and painting over the skin that I want to get rid of. And so I'm not gonna bore you, I'm just gonna forward this process and I will see you when I'm done with the healing.
so there we have it guys with just the healing brush tool i've been able to get rid of majority of the blemish on the skin and if you look at how the skin looks right now you think um this is how his skin was you can't really tell exactly where we did the sampling from and the kind of cleaning that we did so zooming in and inspecting the image just to analyze how it looks and so here's a before showing all the blemishes and then this is where we are now just using the healing brush tool so for me i find that getting rid of as much problem areas in the skin as possible with the healing brush tool um it just it just cleans up the image to a point where i really really like and um i think if if you take your time it's painstaking yes but if you do a decent job um it sets a tone for you to to have a very clean um um, post-processed image inside of Photoshop and yeah so here's a before here's an after here's a before here's an after if you like this video give it a like thumbs up subscribe share if you haven't and turn on post notifications if you haven't so you are alerted as soon as I drop another video because I intend on sharing videos um, concerning how I shoot um, my beauty lifestyle and other stuff that I shoot as well. So if you're interested in, in that do subscribe and turn on post notifications and I'll see you in the next one